is a steel cage match. Making her way to the ring from San Francisco, California, Raiden. We have one-on-one -on -one action on the way, and this one should be nothing short of amazing. I don't doubt that for a moment, Michael. In fact, I would go so far as to say this match might just steal the show. It's the Queen of Spades! And her opponent, from Sioux Falls, South Dakota, Shayna Baszler! She is the real deal. One of the original four horse women of mixed martial arts, a protege of Ronda Rousey. Shayna Baszler thrives on the fear of others. Yeah, it would be a tough point to argue that Shayna Baszler may be the toughest woman to ever step foot in NXT. Ah, oh, she's as tough as they come. Classic match with Ember Moon and NXT TakeOver New Orleans, where she won the NXT Women's Championship. The sky's the limit. Here we go. Steel cage action kicking off here. Running clothesline. It's the mark. You gotta believe this one's over. Oh, nasty impact. Beautiful technique. The best way to describe combatants clashing inside a steel cage is its battle of attrition. Sometimes a superstar is left with no choice but to fight fire with fire and do whatever they need to do in order to win the match. And sometimes it comes down to a superstar doing whatever they need to do in order to survive. Byron, you touched on this earlier, but it's so important for a superstar to accept that there's nowhere to run and nowhere to hide in a steel cage match. That the conflict will be resolved within the 15-foot high steel walls that surround the ring. And that losing a cage match can mean much more than a mark in the loss column. For some, it has meant the end of their career. It's difficult to describe the damage that can be done to a superstar who competes in a steel cage match. We see the physical harm, but we don't see the psychological effects from being inside the cage. Make no mistake about it, Michael. The steel cage truly represents survival of the fittest. The steel cage is a massive enclosure that stands 15 feet in height. For almost 35 years, a select group of high flyers have taken their aerial assaults to greater heights. And when I say that, I mean superstars climb to the top of the steel cage, the real high rent district, and dive off onto their opponent. And that all started with one man in October of 1983, Jimmy Superfly Snooker. To your point earlier, Byron, we've definitely seen some unbelievable attacks be launched from the top of the steel cage. 
And you mentioned the most iconic, the steel cage match for the Intercontinental Championship that saw Jimmy Superfly Snuka clash against bitter rival, the magnificent Morocco. There's no denying that Superfly set the bar. You look over the years to people like Jeff and Matt Hardy, Eddie Guerrero, Kurt Angle, and Chris Jericho, they continued to push the envelope and executed unbelievable attacks from the top of the cage. And watch Rikishi take flight off the top of the steel cage. Wow. Shayna Baszler is probably the biggest bully in all WWE. She's tough, but her intimidation factor can defeat an opponent before the match even starts. Corey, how should a competitor approach Baszler? Everyone who's seen even a modest amount of success against Baszler has done so by kind of building a weird immunity to her mind games. Amber Moon lives in the darkness. Kyrie Sane thinks she's a pirate. And Nikki Cross, well, she's Nikki Cross. Corey may have hit the nail on the head about strategy concerning Shayna Baszler. To avoid being intimidated, you need to be a little insane because once you learn what the submission magician is capable of, fear is going to set in. That's easier said than done, Michael. If you're of the right mind, you're well aware that Baszler will deliver the pain unlike any other NXT performer. In that case, you need to embrace the power of denial. Oh, nasty impact. Oh, what impact. You gotta believe this one's over. Oh, what impact. The WWE Universe has seen the evolution of the steel cage in the enclosure known today as Hell in a Cell. The first time an enclosed cage was seen was in October of 1983 in the last battle of Atlanta. The enclosed cage was seen a few years later in the War Games match from the NWA. There were even cages stacked on top of each other like WCW's Tower of Doom. Byron, we talk about the progression of steel cage matches and the type of structures that have been spawned from them. I need to point out that some cages have been electrified. One was made from bamboo in the form of a Punjabi prison. Shayna Baszler gets the win. We've got some time to take another look at some of the highlights from that one. Here is your winner, Shayna Baszler. Shayna Baszler's got to be feeling good about her performance tonight. We talk about displaying a never-say-die attitude. It was as if winning was the only option here tonight. What a match that was, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for joining us.